Hey guys, Tarko Cycling FPV, and right now I'm getting ready to work on a brand new um, Free Sky, the Horus X10. Now this is the ACCST version. We're going to do a video later on how to upgrade that uh, to the um, Access Edition. But let me just go ahead and show you what I've got here. There we go. Uh, that should be it. Okay. So here's what we're going to need, though, because because what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn this on, and then we're going to show you how to do the firmware upgrade using the Free Sky OS. Okay. Once you do the Free Sky OS, I'm going to show you how to take it over and do OpenTX. Then we're going to show you how to put it back, and we're going to show you how to load an Access uh, uh, um, internal uh, ISRM on here, and also. Uh, um, configure it with an R9M uh, module so that you can connect to a long range receiver. Okay, so there's quite a few things we're gonna do, but we're gonna do these in steps. First thing is gonna be that we're going to go ahead and just power this on, and we're going to show you how to do the upgrade. Okay, so you'll need an SD card. I'm gonna show you how to get all this ready. I may have some switch errors here. I'm not gonna worry about them right now. I'm just gonna hit enter and get out of it. Okay, all right, there we go. So uh, what we wanna do first is the SD card obviously isn't in here. We're gonna go take this SD card and we're gonna insert it into our computer. So I'm going to take, I've got an SD card reader right here, and I'm just going to pop this inside and put this inside my computer, and I'll show you the screen. Uh, here is the screen that I'll be working on, so let me pop this in. It's a small card, it's only 2 gigs, I think. Um, and uh, I'm going to, I've already formatted this once, but I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to do format, and then I'm going to do a quick format, and I named it FreeSky X10, so let's go ahead and click start, and we're going to format that out. And it should end pretty quickly. Click OK. I'm going to click Close. OK. Now, if you'll notice right here, we also have, so we have our SD card. So now I'm just going to right click there. I'm going to left click on Eject. And it's telling me I can take it out. So I am. There we go. And we're going to go back to our main screen here, File Explorer screen. All right. Now, let's go back to the radio. So on the radio, I'm going to go ahead and power the radio off. OK. OK. All right. I'm going to eject the SD card here and go ahead and put it in the radio and you're going to put it with the label facing down. So let's do that. And then this sucker, if you lose it, if you let it go, it's going to fly over the place. Make sure you get it and click it in there properly. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and power our radio back on. Okay. That's going to start back up. And what's going to happen is the radio is going to automatically make a folder on our new drive called logs. Okay. So it's going to be our log folder. That's going to be on the SD card. All right. Now I'm going to get out of this. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to go to the Free Sky website. So let me show you where we're at here. And I think I already had that open, but let's just see. So down on my browser here. Okay, we're going to go to the Free Sky website. If you go to products and then you go to the Horus series. Okay. And then you're going to scroll down till you get to the uh, discontinued products right here. And we're using the X10, this one right here. Okay, you select whichever one you want, but we're using the X10. And it's gonna, I'm gonna click Downloads, and it's gonna take me to the Downloads page. And what I'm gonna be looking for, and you can see it here in the bottom corner here is what I downloaded. What I'm gonna be looking for is, I'm gonna be looking for the, uh, the firmware, uh, the FR, uh, FreeSky OS firmware, which is right here. And the newest firmware that they have is this one right here, okay? So I'm gonna click Download, and when I do, this is the file that's gonna be coming. So once it's done being downloaded, Okay, uh, actually, you know what? I probably just download it again. I'm gonna click cancel and close this. We'll just do it like we're doing it together here. Okay, so we're gonna go to the 1.3.07. Uh, 1 Let's just click download. Okay, now here's where things get pretty important. Okay, you gotta be very careful. So you can click on that arrow and go to show and folder. Keep that right there because that's where it is. Uh, that's where you need to reference it. And then let's go ahead and open another file explorer and we're gonna make an X10 folder on this one. So I'm gonna to go to desktop. I've got a folder called transmitter here, and I'm gonna make a new folder called um, customer. Oops. X, X10. Okay, hit enter. And then I'm gonna double click and go into here. And I'm gonna, now in here, I'm gonna click another new folder, and I'm gonna call this one um, flash backup and this is very important that you do this okay this is probably one of the most important parts of the entire process your flash backup folder is going to be what you copy where you put your files that you copy from the flash memory on your radio and you want to do that in case you ever damage and you put it back it's very difficult if you don't to get this thing back up and running so here's what we're going to do now let me show you by doing this all right with your radio on you're going to take your mini usb and you're going to plug it into the back just like that 
Your screen is now going to say uh, yes to allow access to data, so the answer is yes. And you're going to see on your computer here in just a second that you are now going to have drives pop up. And I'm just going to give it a second, you'll start seeing them pop up here. Okay. And it's going to be um, our, uh, you're going to see right here that we have our E drive, and then we have our there's our SD cards, and I told you it's going to put an, a, a logs folder, and there it is. And we named it FreeSky uh, X10, so there that is. For this one here, we can go ahead and, and uh, minimize for right now. What we want to do is we want to make sure we back up our files here. So what I want you to do now is I want you to highlight all of these. I want you to right click on Copy. I want you to go to your X10 folder we created and go to the Flash Backup folder. And then when you're here, I want you to right click somewhere on the blank space there, and then left click on Paste. And we're going to cut. Don't don't delete them. Don't move them. Just copy and paste them. Okay. And that's going to be our backup in case we ever damage our files. All right. And that's going to be step. That's basically all of that is step one. Okay, now that that's done, we can just minimize it. Don't close this. Uh, we can go back to our customer X10 main folder if you want, because you're going to have to make some other folders here. But since we downloaded that file, right, we uh, have, <coughs> this is our USB E drive. We can, we can close that for now. We don't need it in there. We want to find our download, which is right here. That's that firmware that we just downloaded. I want you to right click on that, left click on cut. And I want you to come over here and I want you to right click here on the screen and left click on paste. Okay, now if you want to stay organized with this, let's go ahead anywhere here and click new folder. And let's just call this FROS updates. Okay, and we will go ahead and take this file and drop it in there. That way we can keep these clean. All right, so here's the most recent update using the FreeSky OS. Right click on it, left click on extract all, just click extract. Okay, and there's gonna be like multiple layers of this file. I don't know why they've done it like this, but here's the file here, and then you double click on it, there's another folder, and then you double click on it, and there's all your other stuff, okay? I like to get rid of all those extra double clicks, so I'm just gonna highlight all the contents, right click on them, left click on cut, and I'm just gonna go back to the main folder, which is gonna be right here. So if you look at your folder, right? Here's the main folder here, and I'm just gonna click paste. I'm just gonna put them in the main folder. I don't want all these extras, right? So now when I go to it, I just have to double click it and it's all right here. All right, so you've done that part now. This is an empty folder here. These are all empty, so we can delete that. Let's go back in here. If you see this folder right here, FW, you can go ahead now and click delete because we've already moved all the contents out. So here's all the contents of that update that we just downloaded, okay? You have Lua scripts, you have Flash, um, and in the flash, you're going to notice that these are the new updated flash files, okay? So you can easily take these now. And what we're going to do next is we're going to sort this out properly. So first thing we want to do, let's take our flash file. And let me make sure our sound's the end. Okay, it is. All right. Let's take our flash file here. And we're going to take the config file out of it. So I want you to, I want you to click the check beside config config and I want you to click copy and then I want you to go to your E right here which is the USB drive uh, the internal flash and I want you to then click paste and you're basically going to replace the files okay so click replace and we're just basically updating those all right okay we're going to go back to that folder we just did the config now let's do the images again copy then go to your internal drive right here your flash drive click paste click replace
Now you may not have this firmware folder on your flash drive, don't worry about it. I mean on your internal flash, don't worry about that right now. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna delete mine altogether because it's I put that on there when I was playing with the radio. I'm gonna remove that real quickly so ours look the same, okay? So let me just delete this. All right, yes. Okay, now the problem I have with this radio is that in my new downloads that I just did, right? If I go back to my, uh, right here, nope, nope, not there. Where is my extracted, is it here? Yes. Okay, the problem is, is this sounds folder is much bigger than the one that is on there. So when I try to copy this, and I try to put it on the, um, what just happened? Say copy, and then I come over here and I try to put it on the uh, internal, it's gonna tell me I think that I'm out of space. See, I don't have enough space. What you can do though, is you can go ahead and let me make sure I've got this written right. Uh, you can actually put the sound on the SD card if you want, in case you run out of space, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Where is my sound? I think it's right here, okay. Um, Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our sound. And I'm going to delete my sound from my internal memory. So let me just click delete. Click yes. That's going to free up my space on here because I have no reason to use it. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to create the directory on my SD card that is going to allow the, that is going to tell the radio to access the sounds on my SD card. And I'll show you exactly how we're going to do that. So what will happen is it will look on the internal flash first, and if it doesn't find it, it will reference the SD card for all my sounds. I'm just going to put them all on there. That way it doesn't have to, I don't have to worry about which one has it. So as soon as I'm done deleting this, I'm going to put the sounds. You'll see them here in just a second. All right, now that we've done that, uh, let's go back to our uh, folder that had the sounds on it, which was under flash right here. Okay, uh, that is our E drive. We don't want that one, we want this one here. So I'm gonna take these sounds, there's a lot of them, and I'm gonna take these, I didn't mean to put this here. Let me delete that, it shouldn't have been there. I'm gonna take these sounds right here. I'm gonna take the whole folder, this sounds folder. I'm gonna right click and left click on copy. And then I'm gonna to go to my uh, free sky uh, drive that I created, the D drive, and I'm gonna click paste. And all my sounds now are gonna go in here and it'll free up the memory on my flash drive, on my internal flash, and it'll also the, uh, the um, radio will look to this folder when it doesn't find any sounds on the internal. And this way we can keep adding them and not worrying about filling up our SD card, I mean our internal flash. Okay, all right, now now that we're in our, uh, our D, uh, SD card folder, the FreeSky D, I want you to right click here, or I want you to just click on new folder here, and I want you, in all caps, I want you to type firmware. Okay, just like that, all right? And then I want you to go back to your firmware folder. Uh, let's see, it was our flash download. Let me find where I put it. Uh, I'll have to get out of this, so let me go to my X10 folder, is it here? We got my desktop and then transmitter and then customer X10 and then we're gonna go here. So we had our FROS update, there it is. Okay, so these now, what we're focused on now is right here. So we need to go ahead and put the uh, firmware file that we're gonna use for our update in here. 
So let's do this. We're not going to use, um, this is EU, which I'm not using. I'm not using Flex right now, so I'm just going to use the non-EU. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to left click on copy. And then I'm going to go to my D drive, go to firmware, and I'm going to right click and left click on paste. Okay, there we go, just like that. All right. Sorry guys, my kid's writing me, there we go. All right, so now what we've got is on our SD card, we now have a firmware folder where we put in our most recent firmware, and you're only gonna put in one file, by the way. Do not put in more than one because this automatically loads when you press the button. We have our logs folder, which was put on by our radio, and we have our sounds folder, which we just copied over there, okay? Um, outside of that, we've done our internal, we've updated each one of these two by copying the files back over, the folders back over, and that's pretty much it. So at this point, what we wanna do is we want to go ahead and safely remove. So click on your USB icon there and eject. Uh, let me make sure we got everything copied over. Let me close these folders down just to make sure everything's copied over. Let's try again. There we go. And then let's eject the next one and this one. Okay. So at this point, we're okay to go ahead and disconnect our uh, USB cable, just like that. Okay. Now, at this point, if you've done everything correct, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold both of these down at the same time and watch. See how it says, welcome to horse updating. It's gonna say erasing. There's the firmware that it recognized when we copied in our firmware folder. So you are going to go ahead and um, remove the, uh, you're gonna let it erase and then it's gonna go ahead and load. And it's gonna be a two-step process. Okay, now it's flashing. says it's finished okay <laughs> that's awesome hold on all right so now that it's finished uh, we can go ahead and hold our power button down okay and then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, turn it back on and when it comes back on now it's gonna do the IXJT now it's gonna update the internal model Okay. Okay, it says it's complete. Now you can restart, so turn it off. Now when you turn it back on, it should be all set. And you can see it has the audio because it referenced the SD card. And there it is. Okay. And so now we've got everything set up and now we've done our update. So our firmware now for the FreeSky OS is done. That's exactly how you do the update for the FreeSky OS part of it. Uh, and that would be complete. So the next step is going to be if you wanted to go ahead and go to OpenTX. And that's what I'm going to show you next, guys. Okay? If you have any questions, please hit us up at cyclonefpu.com. Please, if you get confused in this video, please go back and watch it in sections. I mean, you can stop and rewind. So please do that. Don't complain that I talk too fast because, I mean, when you can stop and rewind, it should not be a problem. Uh, and then if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, guys, God bless. Be safe. We'll see you for round two, which is going to be updating to uh, the um, OpenTX software. Talk to you soon. Bye.